Welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM. How y'all doing today? I'm having a really good day today and I'm glad to be here with all of y'all. So today I am going to be expanding the base in the uh, mine. Now I need to expand it rather quickly because I've got food in the refrigerator here that will spoil if I don't. Now, right now, with the ship just sitting still, doing absolutely nothing, I use zero power. Just like I was hoping with as many generators as I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which we upgraded the ship last time with. Now, as you can see, I've been playing with the light colors because I figured out how to do that. Um, I was wondering how the mine had the color differences and wanted to change up some of the color schemes in the ship uh, and added a few more lights just to make it more interesting. So we're gonna head over to the mine, which is this direction, and we're going to start working on upgrading the underneath part of the mine, the first level underneath. Um, so I've already started. It still gets a I still get a kick out of the fact that there's grass there. If I could find out how to remove that, that would be awesome. But for now, I'll leave it. Now, I moved. I removed all of the uh, storage chests in here, and I placed seven of them along here. So. Now, there's nothing in them right now, but that should be all the storage we need, at least to start with. So, what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to need to replace this door. I'm going to need to replace this wall. And I want to get it looking the same as the rest of the walls. Now, that was whole block. Yes, let's apply to whole block. All right, so I've got that block replaced. I'm gonna need to replace this block. Get it changed. Replace this block. Get it changed. And this one over here. Now, I think I'm going to turn this room into the bedroom. And then I'm just making these the same for now just because of my ADD. Um, I'm going to make this room be the bedroom. This room will probably be a kitchen or something like that this room will end up being a living room um and of course i'm probably going to just change all the floor tiles to make them look more homely at the time but uh this room should be like a living room with like a tv over here and i don't know computer desk in the corner or something something to make it more lived in feeling and then over here, this room, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this room. I might make this the kitchen, and I might make the other one something else. I really have no idea. And then over here, this room, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all these. And then I am probably going to separate this side from this side. So let's put a block there. And then I think I might, what I might do is put a wall along here and then turn this into a little medical bay. Um, the only reason I would do it there is because there's already a door there. I don't want to move the door. I think it might look 
you know, I don't know. But uh, I might remove this corner and that corner to make it square inside here. And then replace this as an angled corner and that just to make this room look more uniform. Um, but first thing I need to do is replace that door. And uh, yeah, when I placed that light, it started off red because I was playing with the colors in here. And when I changed it white, the flare part of it stayed red while the light itself turned white. I still haven't quite figured out how to change the flare color of them, if you can. So I'll have to figure that out eventually. Now, to make it easier going up and down, I think I want to put an elevator... right here and that stuff looks weird but good thing I can just do this yeah hey look it doesn't look uh, creepy anymore <laughs> Now this stuff is even more reinforced than the reinforced steel. It's taking 10 shots to get through instead of the standard seven. I'm not gonna complain because it just means that I, it'll be harder for things to get through, but Right. Whoa, that was kind of weird. Uh. All right. And then this is right where I expected it to come up. Before I placed this door here, I did a little calculation, trying to calculate where that was. I just counted the blocks over that it was this way, and then counted the blocks this direction that it was from over there, and uh, what do you know? My counting was correct. So I'm going to end up putting another door here and then one over there. And while I'm at it, let's just go ahead and get, I don't remember if I had doors started or if uh, I did not. Okay, let's do 10 doors. And while those are crafting up, I'm going to go and make this go down. I'm getting just a little bit of lag or something there. So, one, two, three, perfect. All right. There we are. Now, now that that is done, I've got a way from there into here, and it's an elevator that goes up. Perfect. Now, let's start working on making this look a little more... like a home. Ah! Why would I want my television? Th okay. There. And then before I place this, I remember I had trouble before getting the textures correct. 
So let's do this. Make the textures right. And I'm going to laugh when I go underground and uh, see the wood block because I've got this applied to whole block. And this... All right, and instead of the cold metal thing there, let's have a nice carpet. All right, and I'll continue the carpet through here. And this, let's see, I don't know, I was going to either make that or this over here, the kitchen. Um, I'll think more about that later, but for now, let's continue on through into the bedroom, and I'm going to make this floor like this. All right. I don't know why the floor is damaged and I think I thought I saw a piece of damaged floor in here when I changed this floor just there we go right there just a bit ago maybe it got damaged when I destroyed the wall but let's see I destroyed yep because I destroyed that wall as well and this wall I destroyed yeah, so apparently I shot an extra time to get... Oh, no. I know. I was using the shotgun, and it's got a burst. Okay. I don't know why it's so jumpy like that. All right, so the bedroom. What I'm going to want to do... Now, I'm going to put over here... No, 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 no. I know, I know. What if I did this? Yeah, that's creepy stuff. Um, okay. All right. Now let's change the creepy stuff because I don't like creepy stuff. And this one I'm not going to apply the whole block. I'll just do that. Let me go see if that changed anything in the other rooms. If it did, it would have been in here, and I don't think it did. I think I've got a bit of a ways. All right. And then I'm going to change this to that. Now, well, you wouldn't see that creepy stuff anyway, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. And that. And that. <clears throat> now, I'm going to put... walls here and I'm going to put blocks there and then fill in that one 
and fill in that one. Then I'm going to put a door here, so you've got a door into the bathroom and then a door out this way. Now, um, actually, yeah. Now I'm going to make the walls. Let's see, what color should I make the walls in here? How about that? That looks bedroomy. And actually with these, yeah, I'll leave. Now what I need to do, I need to make these apply to whole block marble marble and then take off the apply to whole block ah not that uh what was it this yeah and then uh come on did that change it no. There we go. All right. And then this up here, the ceiling tile, I'm going to want to change. Uh, all right. I'm going to have to change that separately. Um, Let me think. I've got enough that I can do this. Alright, and... Okay, now I should be able to put... The bathroom tiles back. Uh, what was it? Shower here and toilet here. All right. And then in here, I'm going to put the bed. Where should I put the bed? Right here. And then I'm going to put a TV. Eh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to want to do this. I'm going to want to put the bed. I'm going to put want to put the TV facing here and then the bed. I'm going to want to put right here. All right, and then here I think I'm going to put uh, let's put the desk over here. Should I put it over here or over there? Um, first, the very next thing I need to do, let's get some light up in here. Dang it, I don't want red light. All right, well, this is to show you how to change the light color. Now, the flare I haven't figured out yet, but round lights... It'll probably be the only red round lights in here. Okay, so it, the newest ones are placed up at the top. So... Make the intensity. And then the range. Okay, that looks decent. I don't need any more 
Lights. All right. So I'm going to continue outfitting the rest of the base like this. Actually, I think I want it in that corner there. Alright. Oh yeah, much better. That looks great. And then I'll put a plant here. Uh, yeah, why not? That plant's okay. And then... <laughs> no. Um, I think that'll be it. I need to put something here. Uh, what can I put there? Where the the stuff? Oh, there. <laughs> um, actually, I could put the bed here, and that, and then. Ah. All right. So, what do you guys think? Uh, let me change the roof. Now, the roof... I think I want to make the roof... I guess those are already that. Uh, I'm going to make the roof this. Just because it's a uniform thing. And, uh, yeah, I might actually put the, uh, doors here and here for the bathroom. I think I will. So, anyway, I'm going to continue outfitting the bunker and, uh, making it lived-in-ish. And, uh, then I'll be back once I have it completely done. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Alright, I'll be back. All right, I think I've gotten pretty much what done what I wanted to do. So let me just give you a quick tour around the uh, the base. So enter in through one of the doors. All of the exits are clearly marked, and directions to the exits are all marked. Now first we have up here the constructor room. I have not yet put anything else in here. Um, what I plan to put in here are just a few uh, decorative uh, uh, consoles. But uh, back here, um, I haven't really done much else back here, but there's the core. Through here, there's an elevator that goes down right here. Um, you saw me put that in, but what you didn't see is the other exit to the base. I changed it up from just that little loop because, well, that wasn't very, uh, defensive. And so I put this here. I put the slants because I am going to be and already have parked the racer inside down here. Now back up here with the exits it's a single exit with two doors that becomes one door right here and so you can come in here and uh, in theory what would happen is this light would be red when there's when the racer or any other shuttle is about to come out and green when it's you know clear to exit but anyway down here we have the storage the racer and through this door we have the medical bay and down here is where the central elevator here comes down to the medical bay is denoted with the blue cross if you come down here and into here you'll see the medical bay 
has a food processor to craft medical stuff, a refrigerator, which has medical supplies in it. It's a smaller refrigerator just because I won't need a whole lot of room. And so that I can, I, I'll be putting things in there that aren't perishable, but just so that I, it's a storage that doesn't take up a full block. That's the primary point. Now, through here, we have the habitation wing. And you can get to it through this door over here as well. The habitation wing starts with the kitchen, which has a long table here. You've got your food processor and your refrigerator and the sink over here. And again, the door here is marked with the X for the exit. Through here, we have the community room, which is a living area. It's got a television and a couch and a computer over here for if you want to use your computer. Now, uh, the room is rather large and I might be able to put more in here, but I don't know. I'm thinking about just putting some potted plants around to make it, you know, interesting. And through here, you've got the, uh, the barracks that I called it before, you know, and, uh, it's really nicely fleshed out. And through here, we've got the master bedroom. Now, the master bedroom is a suite that is set up with all the amenities. I forgot to put doors in. Do I have any doors? I do not have any doors. I need two more doors to put here and here. So, I am going to need to get that. Um, but I'll throw those in off camera real quick in a bit. So, furthering the tour, we have through here... As you can see, all the exits marked pointing out that way. And through here, we have the danger zone. Now, the danger zone is clearly marked by a skull with a red outline. Now, this is a defensive uh, wall, which I'm going to have small turrets set up there and there, just in case anything comes up from here and I am apparently starving okay uh, I forgot to get food while I was in the kitchen so let's just uh, go get food real quick and uh, I'll get some uh, uh, refrigerator right here nice delicious steak I hate that you can't just spam it. You have to wait till the uh, eating noise is done before you can uh, finish eating. But in any case, um, the next goal I have is to clear out this area down here. Now, it's been cleared of enemies, and I know they won't respawn without the teleporter there, but I'm going to have to come down and do some retrofitting to get this entire area back looking nice. And then down here, is, or up here, is even more of a danger zone, and I will... Uh, find some way to uh I mean I right now I'm pretty sure it's safe because I got rid of all of the teleporters that were out that way but uh for now we're just going to leave this generator room and everything uh as it is I'm considering throwing a third large generator down here um so what I would do is create a block identical to this um, three blocks that way right there 
and then I would extend these out and put a, the generator right here. Now the problem is these are no longer standard windows because uh, when you go into the window block, come back here, as you can see they took out the slanted window like that. Those are now part of the uh, reinforced window uh, set which is an advanced set that I cannot build. So I'm gonna have to uh, get uh, warp drive and get the advanced uh, what did it go? the advanced constructor before I can actually build those side things but I could go ahead and get the uh, generator up and running. Now this room is going to be used basically as a uh, last ditch kill box um, in case anything comes up to attack us I'm gonna have turrets here facing both doors. Now eventually once the mine is completely cleared out I should be able to move cr or create a secondary habitation wing down further and create stuff down further into the base and it'll just be, you know, able to be super protected. Of course, I know that nothing's actually going to come and attack me except for those few drones because there's no other players or anything. Now, speaking of drones, there's a little problem with the turret. The turret doesn't shoot anything unless I manually control it. Now, I don't know why it doesn't, because it's got plenty of ammunition, and you would think that it would automatically shoot, but this little bit of ammunition that's been used up was me testing it to make sure it'll fire manually which it does. It just doesn't shoot at anything. It doesn't auto target, I suppose is what it would be. And I don't know why. And I'm worried that other smaller tur turrets also won't target things. But in any case, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. As always, I'm Know-It-All DM, and y'all have a good day now.